Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today it's time to figure out how long does it take to get a Tesla ready in winter, start defreezing the car, cleaning off the snow with a brush, getting ready to drive so that you have some knowledge when you're using this car on a daily basis in a country like Sweden where you're gonna have a lot of snow in winter, how long does it take and also if you don't have a connection to a charger, how much electricity does it cost in the beginning to defreeze the car, to heat it up so that you can comfortably drive to work or wherever you wanna go. The last two days it had snowed a lot. I don't really know how much centimeters we have. I think it is above 10, but not more than 15. It is also minus 11 degrees right now. So it will be interesting how much electricity we're gonna lose. I don't think it is a lot of freezing in the car. So just relying on a defrost mode would not be a smart idea in this case because we have more snow and not just freezing. So I'm gonna do that thing that you should also do start defrosting or like preconditioning your car and then just help the car getting rid of snow with a brush or an ice scraper and that is what we're going to do so we're going to time that we're also going to check the electricity consumption during that time i also include a screen recording from my phone so that you can see how much time is passing and also how long does it take for the car to go from minus 11 to yeah defreezing temperatures so i think like 30 degrees celsius so here we go, defrost car, three, two, one, go. As you can see, this car is still not starting. There we go. So we're just gonna leave it like this and yeah, I'm gonna get ready. Okay guys, it is so slippery outside, that's why I have to be really careful, so the thing is already running now for 15 minutes. Let's see how much we can do. Just look at this guys, it's at least above my ankles, the depth of the snow here. There is the car, I'm gonna put you on those stones that you can see there. And then let's see how we're gonna manage. I think I have a good feeling at least getting out of this pile of snow. Getting back in, hmm, we're gonna see. It's also supposed to snow tonight again. It is a lot of snow. It's really way more than I expected. But at least the door handles are not frozen, so that is a win. Uh, also the, the tires and everything here. While I am cleaning off the snow from the car, I first of all want to say sorry that the screen recording from my phone did not work as I was expecting. I don't know if my phone decided to lose connection to the car or if the car itself just goes in a standby mode even while it's defreezing. Maybe you can give me more information what was the problem why the car was not actively shown in the Tesla app. But you will see the results once I grab my phone again. Something else I want to mention that is going to happen in a sec is I try getting out of my parking position by just driving forward. But the problem was I just drove a bit without moving my camera and it made me believe it is working. So I'm gonna tell you, yes, all fine, no problem. But the reality is if you watch already the front tires driving over the snow, they lock, they don't spin at all. And once I have reached a similar state with my back tires, there was basically no traction at all due to the fact that there was all just ice underneath. And I'm gonna talk more about this whole topic in Sunday's video. But now let's get back to this video. So let's see, what does the phone tell me? I think we started at 66. Now we're at 57, 
like I said, we have an interior temperature of 28 and I would say the car is pretty much done. So let's turn it back to normal, 21.5. Stop the screen recording. Oh, no, they are actually frozen. Okay, good to know. They didn't seem like they are, at least the back one. The front door, okay, well, that's also frozen. I see ice there. So let's see if I can get in. So I don't know if you saw it, I pressed first on the front and then on the back. It helped, but it was also not a lot of ice this time. Ah, there we have ice. But I think on this one we can actually do the unlatched door thing. Yeah, that one worked in this case. Okay, I hope you can understand me. I'm just gonna see wipers work. Let's see if I can get up front. Yeah? Okay, so guys, it works. I hope you had a wonderful day and we're gonna see each other back in the next video. Feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.